Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and go over some of the, well not some of the, but the new microtransaction system, which I just browsed through and I have to say off the top of my head, I'm completely fucking like blown away. I'm, I'm not even exaggerating. I'm, I'm not even like trying to suck dick here. Like I'm so fucking thankful for something like this. Um, when you've been playing a game for so long, anyone would know this, whether it's an ARPG, an MMORPG, Hello Kitty Island Adventure, there comes to a point where, like, quality of life almost becomes as important as, like, actual content because it's things that you do every single day. So we're going to go ahead and just browse through the new microtransaction system, and then I want to cover some of the new races because I'll most likely be participating in some of them. So first off, let me go ahead and jump right on into this. I don't have my glasses, so I might be stuttering a lot here, so feel free to make fun of me in the comments below. All right, our long-awaited microtransaction system upgrade is ready for de uh, deployment early next week before the beta uh, for the Fall of Oriath launches on Wednesday. Today's news post includes a video describing some of the benefits of the new system. It's also a super stash sale this weekend, which means that every type of stash tab is discounted this weekend. Don't forget, beta events also start tomorrow. I did mean to put this video out yesterday, but it kind of came like way too like short notice for me and I kind of just got caught up streaming some other games. Um, so in the new microtransaction system, we've completely done away with the old MTX system and have replaced it with a new one that lets you sort and manage your system. Our, our, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you because it's just fucking way better than me reading this. So here you go. In 6.1 update, we have revamped Path of Exile's microtransaction system to solve several problems. We have added a cosmetic screen next to the inventory. Rather than applying Look your effects that. directly to items, oh. these effects now have their own slots. This allows you to swap your gear around as you level up without having to constantly reclaim and reapply effects. The microtransaction stash has been entirely replaced with a new display that can easily show you what effects you have for each slot. It's easy to equip effects directly from here by just clicking on them. Everything you own is shown in the stash, including effects that are currently in use on other characters, so you can't misplace microtransactions anymore. Man. You can dress up in specific <laughs> sets of effects easily by switching to the I theme have. view and clicking the microtransactions you want to use. Look at how fast it is, dude. You can finally level characters with MTXs and if not If all of your, your copies life. of a certain microtransaction are equipped to other characters, you can select which one you want to move to this character Danger very easily. Ranger, Mellow Shadow, Shadow, Banana Duelist. Pets, portals, social frames, and upcoming alternate character portraits now have individual slots so that they are easy to equip. Mystery boxes are now grouped by type and have an improved opening experience. The hideout stash has also been this replaced with a cool similar too. new display. The hideout hideout decorations are now shared between all leagues so that you don't need to grind for favor to build your dream hideout in new challenge leagues. At a later date, we're going to allow the saving and loading of hideout templates. That's pretty cool. The we expect to deploy this patch early next week, as it also allows access to your microtransactions during the beta for the Fall of Ariath. For the Yo, Fall of Ariath. I want that Templar skin. Did anyone just see that? Just right there. I want that MTX set. Who, Gordon Ramsay? Why as it you also here? allows access to your Look, oh, dude. All right, team, we gotta, we gotta get this. I want to see the fucking top hat Templar with no face and a go Is that a goatee? I think that, oh, that's his beard. Just kidding. During the beta for the fall of Ariath. That's fucking badass, dude. So I have to say, I am 100% stoked for the new MTX system. I know a lot of people might think to themselves, oh, it's just, it's just microtransactions. Like, what's, what's the deal? But it's like, dude, it was just so frustrating having to like, you know, take a weapon skin, transfer it on, and you're like, oh, I don't like this. Click, remove it, then you forget to put it in your stash tab, and it just gets all messy, and I don't know, I, I really like the whole clean UI, cl well not UI, but the clean interface for it, uh, is looking super crazy, so I am really excited for that, and I'll probably be checking that out before the beta as well. So, next up, there is a racing schedule that's going on, and it actually started, I think, like, fucking 12 hours ago. So... For people who don't know, I used to race a little bit back in the past. I was never really too good. I've gotten number one a couple times, like with Demi's, but it's not really because I'm, I'm good. It's more or less just people weren't, weren't really as good as racing back then. Um, I'm really bad with like learning and memorizing map layouts. You know, I always get distracted. I'm not gonna blame myself for reading Twitch chat, but you know, basically when I'm in a low level zone, I'm not really paying attention because I'm like, oh, well, you know, I just wanna hit end game. Um, so I don't know if I'll be participating in like the standard races like that. But there are really interesting ones that are going on now. 
Like, and actually, I don't even know. Maybe they took out all the regular ones. We're going to go through and look here. Um, let's go ahead and just read into this, basically, because I'm pretty curious and keen to check out some of the new races specifically that I haven't played before, because I think that, you know, there's really not much to do before beta, so I might as well check this out. Uh, this weekend, we're launching our event schedule. I'm just going to go ahead and skip that. Uh, there are five weeks of events and many prizes to be won. Beta keys, demigods, dominances and plenty of MTXs. There are many types of events planned, including new race types, larger one week and two week races, as well as four uh, eight hour partial PVP events. You can check the full event schedules, uh, time zones here, okay? By gaining 10 levels or achieving the event objective in any one race, players will receive a classic mystery box. If your event starts at the Twilight, or sorry, if your event starts at the Twilight Strand, you would need to reach level 10 in order to receive your free mystery box. Um, if your event starts at a different part of the game, you simply need to gain 10 levels. Okay. In boss skill events, the boss skill itself will enable you to be included. Only one mystery box will be awarded per account. In addition to the above rewards, you can also win other microtransactions for reaching various uh, objectives in the events. So here are the prizes as well. Okay. I just want to go ahead and skip to see the new races, to be completely honest, because everyone can just look at the, the event schedules and see, you know, what works for you. There are some new race types we are experimenting with in Uber Breach. Areas contain no monsters, but many breaches. Wow, so there's no mobs, but only breaches? Um, that's fucking really cool. In Uber Beyond, each monster has a 50% chance to create a Beyond Portal on debt, and there is a 100% increased pack size. In Monstrous Treasure, man, Monstrous Treasure, dude, that's trappers and miners right there. Treasure events and areas contain no monsters, but many corrupted strong boxes. I'm gonna teach you guys right now. I'm gonna tell you what it is, all right? Fire Nova Mine will fucking destroy uh, Monstrous Treasure because you drop your Fire Nova Mines, you detonate, the strong box dies, mines have no cooldown. Mines are fucking insane, dude. Um, that's pretty cool. And then these new special events uh, are voided. That's fine. I, I think it's just going to be a lot of fun. Whoa, excuse me. Oh, there we go. Um, so this was this was week one, multiple events. Week two is the one week legacy events. The one week legacy events run from Saturday the 10th to Sunday uh, the 11th until a week later. Oh, okay. It's taking the time zone. I'm dumb. Uh, they are both standard and hardcore versions of this event and they will share a prize pool of microtransactions. Alternate art demi dominances are awarded separately per event. You're still able to complete your Legacy League challenges in the one week. Uh, let's see. At the end of the event, your character and items will merge. Okay. The top of each Ascendancy class in the standard and hardcore one week Legacy events will receive an alternate art demi demi's dominance. There are also 100 beta keys and hundreds of MTXs up for grabs. Week 3 is multiple events. There are 34 events in week 3. These events run from Saturday uh, until a week later. Each event will run for an hour unless otherwise specified. In each event, the top player of the 7 will be awarded Demigod's Dominance. Okay, what's week 4 and 5? Two week Mayhem events. The two week Mayhem events run from Saturday 24th of June uh, to Sunday 25th until two weeks later. There are both standard and hardcore versions of this event. They share the same prize pool. In Mayhem events, areas are inhabited by a large number of either rogue exiles, tormented spirits, invaders, strong boxes, or breaches. The type of thing inhabiting the area, save players, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this changes every hour, so that's really cool. So I don't really like Tempest, but this has nothing to do with Tempest, so that's pretty cool. Um, so this is really interesting. Basically, every hour, the your league that you're playing in changes, which is pretty interesting. New to racing? All right, this is gonna be us, boys. We're gonna go from, from noob shit to like, to top tier by the end of this racing season, all right? That's gonna be our goal. <laughs> if you're new to racing and not sure how it works, check out some of the tips on getting started here. Note it's okay to delete your race characters once you participate in them. Wait, they actually have this? What is this? Race discussion, general tips by Bex. You know, Bex is gonna give me some personal, this is fucking long, holy shit. All right, so we got the forum race discussion. Um, let's go ahead and look at the schedule that they were doing. So Saturday, this is today that passed already, or actually no, this is coming up, right? Because they already passed it. So what's going on for this? 
We got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sorry, I don't ever look at calendars, so this is fucking, I'm retarded. Um, so I'll probably start racing starting like, I don't know, I'll probably start racing starting either Sunday or Monday, I think I can probably start. And I can get some YouTube highlights for like some of the stupid shit that happens. So you'll probably see some, some maybe like one minute death compilations uh, popping up on, well maybe not compilations, but like just funny deaths popping up on YouTube um, over the next couple weeks until the beta comes in. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to go ahead and keep you guys updated for you guys who weren't really following too much of what PoE was going on with. Um, so I'm super stoked for that. I definitely want to check out the new microtransactions. That's really cool. The new microtransactions and the new, essentially, like, the fucking tab for it. And I'm curious to see fucking the monstrous treasure one, the breach one, and the beyond one. All three of these look really fun. I might jump into a one-week race one, just because it's been a while since I've went, you know, kind of semi-hard. I wouldn't really compete for much, maybe, like, top 100, nothing too crazy. Uh, I don't even think I would really do that, though, for a one-week race. It depends on how much I can enjoy myself. Uh, before the beta goes actually that might even be during the beta but like i said hope you guys enjoyed yourself i hope you guys are still having fun with path of exile i'm really excited to come back in uh i'm super stoked to i've been like on and off with kind of like whether or not i'm i, I really want to play the beta obviously i'm going to but like sometimes i'm like man i don't really want to and then i forget to myself wait that's right we get new acts like it's it's not like Fucking, we're playing a completely different game almost. So I keep forgetting that, so I'm super psyched about that. Uh, but anyway, like I said, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, feel free to toss down a uh, like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv pox. Hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.